Hi again, St. Mark's Church family and friends and brother rats at VMI. In the Gospel of Matthew, the 13th chapter, there's a, a parable that Jesus tells. He presented another parable to them, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares also among the wheat and went away. But when the wheat sprang up and bore grain, then the tares became evident also. And the slaves of the landowner came to, and said to him, Sir, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have tares? And he said to them, Them an enemy has done this. And the slaves said to him, Do you want us then to go and gather them up? But he said, No, lest while you are gathering up the tares, you may root up the wheat with them. Allow both to grow together until the harvest. And in the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, First, gather up the tares, bind them in bundles to burn, but gather the wheat into my barn. Now, Jesus will explain this parable to his disciples a little later in chapter 13. But what I was pondering or wondering about was, didn't the servants have a good idea? I mean, get the tares out and let the wheat grow. But he said no. Why would he say no? Well, maybe the tares would be so close to the wheat and entangle the roots, that's what it does, that part of the harvest would be lost. But maybe it's a reminder to us in a way that the harvest is not up to us. We're to be faithful. God will handle the harvest. For instance, would we as wheat become tares if we spend all of our time trying to figure out who to root up or root out of the kingdom? Maybe what we need to concentrate on is being good wheat. Let God make the decision about tares versus wheat. Pope John XXIII, it said, had a way of ending his evening. He would have his evening prayers, and then he would ask himself, now who's in charge of the church? The Holy Spirit or you? And then he would go to sleep. You know, maybe with this world as crazy as it is right now and with the pandemic and all the other scary things, we need to remind ourselves that God's in charge of the harvest. We just need to be good wheat. We just need to do our part. Leave the harvest to God. It may even help us sleep better. Join me in prayer. Lord, we confess to you it's a scary time. Yes, a lot of the days are kind of monotonous, but that's scary because it's so easy to get off track and to lose our focus in the monotony. We need to just concentrate on being good wheat, sharing your love and grace and forgiveness with others in whatever way we can in this difficult time, this scary time, but leave the harvest to you. Else we'll spend so much time and energy worrying about the tares and all the things that are wrong that we won't have time to be faithful. Oh, man.